Hello, Reza here. In this tutorial we will test the robot gripper that we created in the tutorial modeling a robot gripper part 1. Let's go to bring in a robot and go to robots folder in the ECAD and then have a visual components robot. Let's import it. Well, the size is much larger and I'm gonna just grab that gripper, bring it near the end robot and defector and you see that there is this green arrow showing that these two can connect to each other. Let me also go to products and containers folder so that I can bring in a component to be picked. Let's see which one would suit. I would select, for example, this lace component. Let's select it and then put it somewhere there. Okay. And then to program the robot, I would go to program tab, take the robot to the jug mode bring the robot somewhere there and grip her down and then let's bring it a little bit down front view something like this so far and I would use the tool to be the tool exported from the gripper the tool would be TCP so you notice that our tool is now it jumped this point where we actually selected it when we were modeling the gripper now point to point motion and i'm gonna select snap something like that and let's go i would say a bit up and then linear so what I would need to do now is to open the gripper and before that I would just set the gripper signal to be false. Let me actually just test which signal does what. So right now I would go to signals and then click on the robot. So you see that if I press play well, robot does some movement and right now if I keep the play so the clock is going on when it's false it's open and when the action signal is true it's closed it means that it's gripping something or it's just it's just closed like that and then when it's open the open signal is sent to the signal input 101 of the robot and when it's closed the closed state is sent to the robot using signal 102 so 101 for the open 102 for the closed state and then i would right away after this first point i would send the signal it was the output 100 to the gripper to be true meaning that I want my gripper state to be closed but then after we reach let's say over here I want to open it so I would copy this statement and paste it over here make it false so it opens and then we need to wait for the signal 101 to be true meaning that the gripper is now open because we can't just the gripper opening time it might be different and we might actually crash into the component if it's the gripper is still on the way to open so here we wait until it's fully open then we try to approach component so let's press play yep so you saw that the gripper opened let's do it once more so now the gripper is open and what i'm gonna do is to take it down then like this 
go to front view and I would just maybe here I could use orthographic mode to have a better view on the grip and component and let's go to jock mode and a little bit close here so we understand that what's the value of our gripper. We can also select the gripper, so the value is like 25 now. We need this gripper because of this component to have the lower value of 25. So we can also go to the property tab of the gripper. So now gripper is selected. I would go in the property panel. Here you can also set the minimum and maximum value of this gripper. You don't need to go to modeling tab. So I would just here put the close value to be 25 and then open value to be 30. Of course, you could also just play with these jog values over here and then save it as a motion point in the robot over here. Then that value was going to be set for the gripper. But here I prefer to change the minimum value of gripper in its setting 25 that would suit my component. But of course, if you have many components in your layout, then it's just better to go with modifying the gripper and its motion points over here. So what I would do after this, we came here. Let me just maybe reset and press play. We can go down there somewhere here. This looks good. Let me see the top view. Yep, looks good. And I would just turn off this orthographic mode. So orthographic mode off. And let's teach this motion point and take it after this creeper opening. So if I zoom back, what do we have so far? Go there, approach the component, open up, go down, and then we need to grab it. So I would just send an action signal of 100 to be true, which means I want this gripper to close. And then we need to wait for the gripper to close, which is signal 102. And after that, I need to grab the component. So let's just make a output of one that's the output number to grab a component the value to be true what i would do is to simply go to this point copy this and paste it so it would just grab the component and go up reset press play okay as you just noticed, it did not grab the component. Why is that? Let's select the robot and go to actions configuration and what each signal does. And then we selected the signal one to grab the component. And if I scroll down here, it says that the tool that is used for signal, sorry, why did I select signal five? We select signal one and the tool used for it is tool one, but I want the TCP tool to be the using tool of signal output one. Let's press reset and press play. Okay, so it grabbed, kind of picked it, now it's flying on air. Let's press reset. The component also copy this point and then just paste it here at the very end. So now you know how to model a robot end effector, then go ahead, bring your own 3D files in and model your grippers. Good luck and see you in another tutorial. Bye!